Hello and welcome to another edition of Adam's Music Box, where today it's less fun-filled than it is about tragedy, art, and the ability of art to comfort those experiencing tragedy, and the ability of art to transcend the tragedy in question. Because it was on this day in 1977 that what turned out to be the final album by the quintessential Leonard Skinner lineup was released. And this was called Street Survivors. And it was really as though the hand of providence or something was at hand, because the album was called Street Survivors. And days after it was released, a majority of the members of the band would have to survive a very bloody plane crash. And although they survived, it was not it was not easy. Many of them were very badly injured. And of course, there's the original cover photo, which shows uh, the band being partly engulfed by flame. Uh, that was changed temporarily after the plane crash pressings for, for a while after that just had a regular photo of the band in front of a black background. Um, and it was, you know, it was an album that was one of their best albums ever because it had so many hits crammed on to one comparatively short album. Uh, it opens up with What's Your Name, a classic. Then there's one of my very favorite Leonard Skinner songs, That Smell. What a, what a classic. What a real rock classic. You got that right. Another absolute classic. And those are just three. Um, the whole album. Album, really, it was one of those very complete albums from front to back, and it really encompassed a band that were, I would say, at the height of their powers. They were more popular than ever. They were touring the world in spite of their very Southern rock flavor. They were hugely popular everywhere, not just in the U.S., but outside, and everything was going well, but it just, it just shows you that um, the best laid plans of mice and men can get really, really fucked up if um if bad luck or bad fortune strikes you and that's what happened to the band of course not everyone survived the plane crash if they did it would have been an interesting story for all to tell uh but of course that wasn't the case because founder and lead vocalist the sort of face and voice of course of the band ronnie van zandt he died a, a guitarist and vocalist, Stephen Gaines, he died. Um, his sister, who was doing some BV, some backing vocal work, really wonderful woman, uh, Cassie Gaines, she died as well. And then, of course, the non-musicians involved, um, Dean Kilpatrick, who was the band's assistant road manager, um, he died. And, of course, two of the pilots died, Walter McCary and William John Gray. They died in the plane crash. 20 in total survived. Um, this was in many ways the end of the band, although Johnny Van Zandt, a wonderful singer in his own right, um, he ended up reforming the band. His band, Van Zandt, itself was really, really good, and that was a combination of Johnny and Donny Van Zandt, a very, very musical family. So definitely check that out, too. Somewhat similar to Leonard Skinner, somewhat different, all very good. Um, but... I think that this album, um, even though at first some people thought, oh, we can never bring back the original cover art, a subsequent pressings later down the road did bring it back because it's almost like a final battle cry of the band saying, you know, it, it almost like a brave heart thing. You can take our lives, but you'll never take our freedom. And in that case, it was you can take our lives, but you'll never take the art away from us. And I just think that if you're going if you're going to go out and no one wants to, I suppose. But if you're going to, you might as well go out strong. And frankly, no one went out stronger than Leonard Skinner did with Street Survivors. God bless to the whole band and their families. They've been a fairly tight knit band, a very a family band, if you will, for many, many decades in their various post tragedy incarnations. God bless all and rock on like subscribe. We will see you next time. Take care.